Guys are going to grid, and we are live. It is pro buggy action, ladies and gentlemen. A 30-minute throwdown here, PNB. It is the pro buggy. Ryan Mayfield starting on pole, locked and loaded. He took the win in Truggy. Can he do the double this weekend here in Tennessee and bring home the win in pro buggy? Ryan Mayfield coming to the middle of the track. Got all 17 drivers right behind him as he comes through that concrete section. Brandon Rose right behind him in the green buggy. Mayfield in the white coming across the on-fire podium as he comes down that front straight. A bit of a trouble there for Brandon Rose as he saw that green machine get wide there coming on. You see the gap already here between Mayfield. Then you know that paint job there, the pink and blue behind him here. Third qualifier, Dakota Fenn now moving up to the two spot. They had a showdown throwdown in Truggy. It is Mayfield here down the back session. He goes to that right-hander, to that right-hander now. Squaring up for the big front side double is Mayfield. On the money he goes. Around the hairpin, drops down to the concrete, slides it around. He's going to come around. He's going to be leading. Lap number two, he's got Fenn right behind him. Look at that gap, though. He's already made with only one lap between Mayfield and Dakota Finn. Mayfield kind of checking out here already as he comes up here through the middle of the track on that double-double. Look at all that speed that he carries through there. It's incredible the talent that this guy has, and he's been doing it all day. Pro Nitro Truggy, now Pro Nitro Buggy. Mayfield out front, followed by Finn. Rivkin moving up a spot from the four. Then Van Dalen. Followed by Ryan Lutz is your top five. A great shot here on the backside of that lander. Sliding it around the concrete. They go. There's Mayfield. They got a hit coming out of that concrete right on the inside to the middle there. Otherwise, there's a big rut. So Mayfield taking advantage of that pole position. Down the line he goes. Mayfield, Van Van Dalen, Rivkin, four. Jared Wiggins now up to five. Little bump, Fee Long started nine. The youngster there moving up to the sixth spot. Cavalieri goes 11 to seven. Rose falling from P2 down to eight. Mason, Fuller, nine, and Camden line. Oh! Riding out your top ten and trouble there. Mayfield going for a ride there. Oh, my, that is going to change it around now. Look at the gap between that he has given Dakota Fenn now. You see Fenn at the bottom of your screen as they come out of the concrete. It is going to be Dakota Fenn now and the TLR moving up to P1 as they cross the start finish line. The gap 2.2 advantage now, Fenn. Fenn here in the orange and blue as he comes around to the left side of the track. Fenn over this big double. Mayfield trying to catch back up to him in the white. Mayfield starting out in front, having that little trouble there. And Dakota Finn capitalize it, capitalizing on it. So now Mayfield coming down that front section with Seth Van Dalen right behind him. Here they come over that big double right in front of the driver's stand. Now into that concrete section. Whoa, Finn up on two wheels there, but able to save it. Mayfield and Seth Van Dalen. Here they come down across the start finish line into the front straight. 26 and a half minutes to go. Seems like an eternity, but it'll be gone in a blink. As Fenn, Mayfield, Van Dalen, Fee, Long, Nguyen, little bump from nine to the four. The youngster making it happen up to the four spot. But it is still Fenn out front, followed by Mayfield and Van Dalen. 26, 20 to go. A great battle here. Maybe about a half a second between Mayfield, Van Dalen. Over the front side, double money on the landing. Sliding around the cocky. Fend in and out of view. Now we see Mayfield follow Van Van Dalen. Through that bumpy sweeper they go. Trying to keep it tight as they come on to the straightaway. Across the line, Fend with a 2.2 second lead. 1.4 back from Mayfield is Seth Van Dalen. Mayfield able to stretch it out just a little bit here on Seth Van Dalen, although he's really trying to catch up to Dakota Finn, who we're following now. Here comes Finn around through the middle of the track on, onto the back straight. Now coming down in front of the driver's stand up over this huge double, airing it out in his pro nitro buggy. Here comes Finn down through the concrete section, drifting it around there. Now up to the top side of the track, onto the right side. And now down the front straight goes Dakota Finn. Dakota Finn laying down a 38-6 on that lap. Over that double, now back through the middle of the track. Dakota Finn coming up on this double-double. A little short on that first one, but makes up for it on the second one. Now Dakota Finn on the left side over this double. 
Mayfield, 2.9 back now. So Dakota Finn stretching it out on that last lap. Dakota Finn needs to do that. He cannot let Mayfield catch up to him because if Finn lets Mayfield get him, he's going to have his hands full in this race. Dakota Fend out front leading the way. 2.9 the gap last time by. Dakota Fend, you're defending. Pro buggy champion from 2023. He is out front doing what he needs to do. 5.20 to go. These guys can go about seven and a half minutes on pit stops. That's what they can hold for fuel. Some can stretch it out a little bit longer. How they drive it, how aggressive or less aggressive they are on the throttle, how they tune the engine to be able to get more run time. The longer you can run, the longer you can stay out there. Sometimes it, it can equate to one less pit stop. These guys are doing about six to seven seconds. They lose for coming in, for fuel, stopping, getting filled, and down and away. So if you can save one stop, you're losing, you're saving about seven to eight seconds over your competitors. I'm glad that you bring that up, Scotty, because Dakota Finn, who we're following right now out in our top spot, is notorious for stretching out those pit stops. He likes to see how long he can stretch it because, just like you said, one less pit stop during this main can mean everything at the end of this race when you're up by six or seven seconds, especially to our top qualifier, Ryan Mayfield, who's trying to catch up to Dakota Finn right now, currently 2.7 seconds back. So on that last lap, Mayfield shaving off two tenths of a second. You can see Dakota Finn right there in the camera. Ryan Mayfield right behind him as they come down that back straight. Dakota Finn working his way through the middle of the track. Here he comes lining up for that double-double. Now we're catching up here to Mayfield. Mayfield on that double-double. Look at him carry all that speed. I don't know how he does it. It's incredible the talent that all these drivers have, especially Ryan Mayfield. Mayfield down the back section. He goes two and a half seconds back from Dakota. Dakota is going to be coming in and out of frame to the top, and they're going to be coming up here on traffic in just a little bit. You see Fenn there in the orange and blue coming out of the concrete. Got a little bit of traffic in front. Our leaders already lapping some of these drivers in the field. We got seven down, 23 to go. We're at the 7 10 mark. So for some of these guys, they're going to be pitting up next time. Bah, there's a great shot here. Some of the guys, Olsen is in for oh. fuel already. All right, Fenn with a little bobble there. Oh, my, that lead he had last time by two and a half seconds. It is gone. As you can see, Mayfield now closing the gap. It is going to be up to pit stops here in this first round. See if they can save a half a second in the pit. That's a lot of real estate on a racetrack you make up. And Mayfield having a little bit of problem that time. Mayfield getting around Dakota Fenn there. Mayfield coming around the psycho slider, that concrete section of our track you can see all these drivers coming in for pit stops let's see what mayfield does here here he comes let's see how long it is he getting up to his pit crew right there adam drake and he's out let's see how long it was 6.7 seconds for ryan mayfield that could be a world record pit stop right there for ryan mayfield but this is what ryan mayfield needs he needs those quick fuel stops he needs no mistakes if he wants to keep finned off of his tail. Mayfield out front after the pit stop. Dakota still to come in. The question is, is Dakota going to Dakota gonna be on the same strategy or is he going to try to stretch it out? We'll see. So Mayfield lost about six, seven seconds there with the pit stop. It'll all cycle through. The order will change as people come in. Fend is staying out now. Fend is up. We got Sontag on the gun, down and away. Dakota Fend in and out, 6.3 seconds. What a stop there. So it is Mayfield back to the front here. You see Mayfield in the view. Second spot is going to be Fenn. Fenn in the, pin, the orange and blue. This is our battle for first place right here. Currently Ryan Mayfield holds on to it, but Dakota Fenn catching up real quick. Here comes Ryan Mayfield over that big double right in front of the driver's stand. Now coming down to that concrete section, you notice how Ryan Mayfield hugs the inside of that. He doesn't use too much throttle because if he does, he's just going to be drifting around there wasting time. And if he wastes time, you know who's going to be up on him. It's that guy, Dakota Finn. Mayfield bringing the field here into the double-double. Finn last time by less than a second back. Here they go to the far left side, squaring up for that big, tough double. Money on the lander here. You see Dakota Fan trying to close in, making up a little ground, maybe this half a lap. Into that fast right-hander on the downside. Now squaring up, you see Dakota just absolutely sends it in there. He is closing up on Mayfield. 
as they slide around the concrete, climb up the hill, Mayfield and Fenn. Into that sweeper they go across the star finish line. Ten minutes already complete, 20 minutes to go. And I'd like to say Seth Van Dalen right here as well. Or He is uh, right behind him. Seth Van Dalen only a couple of seconds back. So anything can happen. One tiny mistake from any of these drivers. And Seth Van Dalen, for either of these drivers, Seth Van Dalen is going to be right on top of him. Mayfield out front in the white buggy. Dakota Finn in the orange and blue. Here they come, bumper to bumper, over that huge jump right in front of the driver's stand. These drivers have got nerves of steel because they stand up there for 30 minutes here at the 2024 Psycho Nitro Blast, and they got to keep their composure because anything can happen at any time. Six tenths of a second to gap here between Mayfield and Fenn. Now it is the tough time here as you start coming up on traffic. These guys faster than the back half of the field, and they have to negotiate a big whip there from Mayfield as Dakota continues to close. Last time by six tenths of a second. It's as close as they've been since the start of the race. Dakota, you see him jump, absolute leap off that one. Into the center chicane they go. Sliding around the concrete, a whole lot of traffic in front of them. We got 11 down, 19 to go. Dakota, a little bit wide there, losing a whole lot of real estate. On your later, down the straightaway from six tenths of a second. The gap now, 1.4. That small little mistake for most guys, it's not a mistake. But for the top pros in the world, that little bit cost them a second. Yeah, it's crazy. When you watch Mayfield come around here, watch how fast he takes these jumps. I mean, he launches that thing where the rest of this field isn't really sending it that far. They just kind of go over it and then try to carry speed. Whereas Mayfield, our top qualifier, he don't care about that. He wants to get around this track as fast as possible because if not, he's going to get passed up. But look how close these drivers are. We were talking earlier about the pit stop strategy. Right now, Dakota Finn came in just a little bit after Ryan Mayfield. And if Dakota Finn can continue to do that and shave off that one pit stop, it's easily six or seven seconds in front of Mayfield. Currently, Dakota Finn about two seconds back. So six or seven second pit stop means he's four seconds in front of Ryan Mayfield later on in this race. 17.45 to go in this. Mayfield, Fenn, Van Dalen, Rivkin, and Mason Fuller round out your top five. Fee Long is sitting six. Jared Wiggins goes seven, followed by Cavalieri, Ogden, Lutz, Wilson, Rose, Lime, Sante, Casson, and Bordon. 17, 30 to go. Mayfield across the line. Fend across the line. The gap 1.9 second. It's a tenth here. It's a tenth there. But that what Mayfield does. He is just Mr. Consistency, keeping it on point right now. Over the left side, double he goes. More traffic behind him as Dakota Fenn comes up on the traffic that Mayfield just got by. We're at 13 down, 17 minutes to go. One round of pit stops already complete. We expect it around the 15 to 16 minute mark. That next round, you see the cars move to the side, give way to the leaders. Mayfield makes it through. Fenn makes it through down the straightaway they go, completing lap number 20. Yes, Scotty, I just want to mention here in this sport, all these drivers are professional drivers, so they recognize that the leaders are coming up from behind them. So they do the professional thing. Watch out for that traffic there. They do the professional thing, and they move out of the way so that these guys can continue to race. Here's a great shot of the uh, the back of Dakota Fan, our driver stand right here. These guys intently watching their cars around the track. Here comes Mayfield and Dakota Finn. Our closest race on the track right now is for that one and two position. Mayfield leading us around in the white buggy. Dakota Finn in the orange and blue. Onto the right side they go. Right now they're separated by one second. Now 1.4. So Mayfield able to gain almost half a second on that last lap. But they got a bunch of traffic coming up here onto the left side of the track. Mayfield getting through that double-double. Now over the big double. Here comes Dakota Finn. So that 1.4 second looks more like less than a second now. 15.45 to go. We got Mayfield, Finn, Van Dalen, your top three. That gap is closing now this lap. Oh, coming in hot to the chicane there. Sliding around a concrete. Mayfield taking that tight inside line, avoiding that hump that Dakota just hit. As they come across the start finish line, Dakota making up a lot of time this lap. Now point six is the gap to the center double. They go over the roller now into the double. And double, you see the gap. The white techno running on Jay Concepts tires. 
is Ryan Mayfield behind him in orange and blue with the whip in the air. The TLR also on J Concepts tires is the one and only Dakota Fed. Dakota Fed, a small mistake. He tries to ride it. He saves it, but that was a costly mistake. Going to cost him three, four, maybe more seconds. We'll check the gap as they are in traffic here. So the first mistake there after hot lap from Dakota Fed. Yeah, he makes that mistake, and look what happens. Now he's got to get around three cars that went around him that's between him and Ryan Mayfield. Dakota Finn up on two wheels there. We are at uh, 15 minutes down, 15 minutes to go. About halfway through this one, we're going to start seeing some more pit stops rolling in here soon. Dakota Finn open over that double, but meanwhile we got Ryan Mayfield down the back straight. Here he comes through the middle. Going to work up over this big double. It's going to be interesting to see if Ryan Mayfield pulls in here on this lap or maybe the next one because he's going to need some fuel soon from his pit crew down in the pits. Let's see what he does. Here he comes around the straight, and he is pulling in. Let's see how long it takes. His pit man picking him up, filling up with that fuel gun. That fuel gun that his pit man was holding is full of nitromethane fuel, and he dumps it straight into that car. That pit stop, six point. One second, Scotty. An amazing pit stop there for Adam Drake. That's the guy in the gun. Mayfield going to maintain the lead. Now it's going to be on the mechanic, Mike Sontag, for Dakota Fenn when Dakota Fenn comes in. Beautiful, beautiful move there. Beautiful pit stop there for Mayfield. You see him in your bottom corner. You see Sontag, Dakota already in for fuel, down and away. We'll check the gap this time by as Mayfield will be coming across the start finish line. We follow him on camera. Here's Mayfield across the line. That time by with the pit stop of 43-8. Dakota, 43-2, 2.7. So Dakota making up some time that pit stop, but still two and a half seconds, the deficit between behind Mayfield. Seth Van Dalen in our third place spot, about four seconds back. Spencer Rivkin in our fourth place, about six seconds behind our third place driver. Then we got Fee Long in the number five spot. Fee Long, our 13-year-old driver, out here driving with the pros. I mean, we go Nitro Blast showing us how it's done. It is Mayfield out front, leading away. Second spot is going to be Fenn. Second spot, Fenn. Seth Van Dalen in the three. 17 20 down, 12 40 to go. Ryan Mayfield out front. Dakota now closing that gap by by one. Whoa. Dakota Finn getting crazy there. Less than two seconds separates these drivers. We're watching Dakota Finn come around that big double. You just saw Ryan Mayfield off the left of the side of the screen. Here they both come through the concrete section. The cool thing about that concrete section is because there's a little terrain change there. They go from hard packed dirt to very, very slippery concrete. And so these drivers have to navigate that well, and they've got to modulate their throttle just right so they don't get too out of control on that slippery concrete. We got 18 down, 12 to go, 12 minutes left. It is Fenn right now, 1.8 seconds. This one is far from over. You see Mayfield top of the screen. You see Fenn getting launching it there. The end of that left-hander over the front side, double. Oh, Marshall and traffic in front. Oh, a whole heap of car. Mayfield, you see him taking that tight line. Much smoother entrance coming off that concrete into the uphill section. In and out of the sunlight that is shining through here in White Pines, Tennessee. Pro buggy A-Main Ryan Mayfield from Arizona leading away, driving a techno car. Second spot from Indiana, Dakota Fan. He is 1.1 seconds back that time by. It is tightening up the battle for the lead as we have 11-11 to go. Traffic in front of Mayfield and Fenn. Fenn checking up right here. Mayfield not able to catch a breather at all. Here they come through that concrete section, sliding around it. Mayfield up to the top side of the track. Dakota right behind him. Here they come across that start-finish line. The gap now less than a second between Ryan Mayfield and Dakota Finn. Last time by, Mayfield with a 38-4. Dakota Finn with a 38-3. So Dakota Finn with a tenth of a second faster on that lap. At this level, it's all about tenth. You see the whip from both of them. They're coming into the back section. They go. It is car lengths now. Not time between the two. Mayfield in the white, followed by the orange and blue there of Dakota Finn. 
as they come in and out. Sliding around the concrete corner up the hill. Mayfield at a tight line. That is the better line. Mayfield found it. Dakota has not found it yet. You see Dakota each time he comes out of that section. A little bit of buck from the back end as they grip and rip down the straightaway right now. We are 20 minutes in. 10 minutes to go in our Pro Buggy Championship Final. Dakota Fenn knocking on Mayfield's back door. You're right, Scotty. Two-thirds of the way through this one. Seth Van Dalen in the number three. Spencer in the four. Fee Long in the five. So we got a lot of fast drivers still up here in the top five. But the big story here is between Ryan Mayfield and Dakota Finn. As they come through the middle of the track, down to the concrete section, Dakota all over him. But you see how Dakota really slid out there. And then just like you said, he didn't find that line. So his car got upset when he went over that little tiny bump which can cost those precious tenths of a second. Into the double-double, Mayfield leading the field. More traffic in front of him. Dakota, faster through that section here. Now, let's see if traffic will yield for our leaders. Down the back section they go. Dakota again closes up. He's going to launch it into this one. You see him just dive. Closes in within feet there of Mayfield as they come into the chicane just car lengths apart sliding around coming out of the pit here climbing up down oh! Mayfield catching the corner coming in the bit hot there we go it is now a lead change Dakota Fenn to the point here with nine minutes to go it is Fenn on point Mayfield right behind him as they come up to the double double oh trouble in front of him and they get out of the way Mayfield tries the wide line as they come up here to the berm Dakota right on point, keeping that door shut. To the back, San Diego. It is Finn and Mayfield going at it. Dakota Finn trying to back to back. He was the 2023 Psycho Nitro Blast champion. He wants to be that 2024. Look at these cars getting out of his way. Here he comes up onto this concrete section. Mayfield doesn't get into it like he did last time. That one, must here he comes on the inside. Is he going to make it stick? He does. Mayfield going to take over the number one spot now from Dakota Finn. A drag race down the straightaway. Mayfield breaking at the last possible moment to take that P1 from Finn. And is Mayfield back to the point. Here comes Dakota Finn. Dakota Finn not giving up. He looking high, looking low. Absolutely nowhere to go. Can't find a way by. They come up to the front side double. It doesn't get any better than this. Two of the best racers in the world going toe to toe, wheel to wheel, lap after lap after lap as they come around and complete lap. Oh, oh Mayfield getting all kinds of wrong. Here's a gift from Dakota Fenn. Dakota Fenn back to the front. Man, these guys have been racing for decades with each other. They got a lot of experience, and it shows as they come through that double double. Dakota Fenn now back out to the front, and Ryan Mayfield right behind him. Here they come down the back straight. Dakota Finn in the orange and blue. Ryan Mayfield in the white. Now they're coming through the middle of the section over the big double. Getting 25 feet of nothing but nitro buggy air. It is the final round of pit stops coming up here as we follow these guys in. It's Finn and Mayfield. Down the straightaway they go. As they continue on, you see the gap right now. 1.1 second is the gap. We have six 50 to go. They can pit any time. Mayfield trying to close back in. A rare mistake. A kink in the armor from Mayfield. Giving Dakota Fenn the lead. Dakota Fenn taking a hit on the pipe right there. Up on two wheels. Trying to hang on. Pushing it to the absolute limit. 110%. These guys are going perfect on the downside here. As they go into the chicane, they slide it around the concrete corner. Climbing up, they gotta take it nice and easy. Mayfield may be a little advantage. Let's see if they're gonna pull in for their final pit stop. As they come down, they are in. Dakota is in. We got Mayfield in. It's a race on the mechanics. Advantage that time, about dead even. As they cross the line, maybe a faster one of 5.7 for Mayfield. It is game on. Yes, here they come through that double-double. Dakota Finn currently out front, but he does not want the top qualifier, Ryan Mayfield, on his tail. 
for the next six minutes because Ryan Mayfield is going to push Dakota Finn harder than he's ever been pushed before here at the Psycho Nitro Blast. Into the concrete corner they go. More traffic in front of him. They slide around. Mayfield again, that tight line. He closes up again as they go around through that bumpy sweeper. Gripping and ripping down the straightaway. They go hard on the binders to that right-hander. They go. Mayfield maybe a little advantage that time by as we're finding this beautiful shot here into the double-double. Traffic in our leader's way. And one gets out of the way. Second one here is Mayfield. He gives some room. One more in front of our leaders as we are at the 515 mark here. Our 30 minute championship final. Fend and Mayfield going toe to toe in our pro buggy final. Mayfield able to shave off two tenths off that last lap. Look how wide Finn goes there. Mayfield going to close it up just a little bit. Let's see what it looks like here. Currently nine tenths of a second back is Mayfield. Still the same, so Mayfield isn't able to gain any ground as they work their way through the middle of the track over this double-double. Here comes Dakota Finn out in front. Mayfield got to get around this traffic onto the left side over the, after they go across that big double down the back straight. Dakota sending it there. Now down the track and up to that huge double in front of the driver's stand. Finally, traffic yields for Mayfield. They can get back to the battle here. You have to be so cautious. If the guy in front, that traffic, maybe caught a corner, caught a pipe right in front of the leader, it could be tragedy. But our leaders make it through as they're racing down the straightaway they go. We got 4.15 left to gap. 1.4 advantage Fenn over Mayfield as they're coming up square and up for the double-double they go. It is double and double for Mayfield. You see Fenn at the top of your screen. He's already onto the double. Here's Fenn over. Here's Mayfield over. Onto the back straight away. There you go. We got 26 down, four minutes to go in our pro buggy final. Here at the 2024 Psycho Nitro Blast. It's Fenn, Mayfield, Van Dalen, Rifkin, and Fuller. Round out your top five. Yes, this, we've had a ton of racing here this weekend, but this is the one to win. You want this one on your resume more than anything else. The Pro Nitro Buggy and currently Dakota Finn wants two of them back to back. He's out front in the orange and blue. Got to get around this traffic on the left side of the track. One car gets out of his way. Here he comes down the back straight. Got to get around two more as he comes down the hill. All these cars, all these drivers know exactly what's on the line. For Dakota Finn and Ryan Mayfield and they are parting the seas for these two drivers because they know that they are the number one and number two driver here at the Psycho Nitro Blast 2024. Three minutes to go that was a close one there the traffic waiting to the last possible minute to get out of the way Fend leading away second spot is Mayfield gap last time by 1.7 seconds down the back straight away they go. It is the orange and blue TLR. Oh, oh! Ben catches a run, and he's going to maintain the lead. Here come Mayfield. They are nose to tail now. It's a new game now with two and a half minutes to go. Sparks coming off the bottom of Dakota Fenn. Traffic in front of him, and a mirror full of detecto of Ryan Mayfield. Ryan right there. It's going to be a drag. Oh! oh! Ben catches a run. Mayfield now down the straightaway with 2.20 to go. Advantage Mayfield. That is a big opportunity here for Mayfield to bring home the win with 2.10 to go. That's crazy. Dakota Finn went around that curve, hit that rut. That looks like the exact same rut that Mayfield hit earlier in the race that allowed Dakota Finn to go around him. And then Dakota Finn hits the very same thing, and now we have a leader change. So Ryan Mayfield, our top qualifier, back out front as they slide around the concrete section. But Dakota Finn not letting him go. Here they come around the right side of the track, down the front straight. All these other drivers getting out of their way with one minute, 40 seconds left on the clock. What a fight we got here over the double-double. It is going to be Mayfield and Dakota Fenn. They have been racing for 28 and a half minutes just like this. From the drop of the flag, Mayfield started on pole. Dakota Fenn started in P3. Didn't take long for Dakota to get there, and he is absolutely knocking on the door with a buck 15 to go. It is Mayfield and Fenn racing this one out for the W here. We're at a minute 10 left. Pro Nitro Buggy. Yes, here they come, down the front straight, Mayfield in the white, Dakota Finn right behind him. Here they come through the middle of the track, 
Mayfield out front as he works his way through that double-double, gets all the way to the outside and gets crazy. Oh! Mayfield gets it sideways. That gives a chance for Dakota. Not close enough. Over the top! Dakota fan airs it out. Goes big time. Mayfield back to the inside. Dakota drifts out wide. It is side-to-side racing. Advantage now to Mayfield. Two gladiators going at it toe-to-toe. It is Mayfield now with the advantage. We are going to go one more time. Psycho Nitro Blast 2024. It's all on the line right now. A straightaway lead for Mayfield. The gap on the clock. 2.2 2.2 seconds. Mayfield took the winning truck. Can he do the double here? It is a feat not many have been able to do, but Mayfield trying to pull it off here. We're at 10 seconds to go. This is the final lap of our 30 minute championship final. Mayfield in control. It is Dakota Fan on the gas, moving fast, trying to really bit Dakota upside down. Oh. Put a fork in this one. It's done. Ryan Mayfield's got two more sections to get through. Can he bring it home? What's it going to be, paper or plastic? He's got this one in the bag. Ryan Mayfield taking the win. Ryan Mayfield, our top qualifier, goes all the way for 30 minutes and is the first driver to cross that finish line. Ryan Mayfield going back to back. Nitro Truggy, now Nitro Buggy, here at the 2024 Psycho Nitro Blast. Dakota Finn coming in the number two, Seth Van Dalen in the three, Spencer Rivkin in the four, Mason Fuller in the five, Jared Wiggins in the six, Brandon Rose in the seven, Cole Ogden in the eight, Ryan Lutz in the nine, Cole Kasten in the 10, Man, what a race that was for 30 long minutes. Ryan Mayfield, Dakota Finn, just entertained all of us around the world with their talent and their skill here at the Psycho Nitro Blast. It was back and forth. It was Mayfield. It was Finn. We had Seth Van Dalen in there for a while. Then it was Mayfield again. Then it was Finn. They both wreck in the same exact spot on the right side of that track. And they let each other get by there. Telling you, all it takes is one tiny mistake. And then it's a wrap because the next driver can get right by. So Ryan Mayfield going to go back to back. Truggy, then Buggy. Here at the Psycho Nitro Blast. All right, we are going to send it down to Scotty Ernst with Ryan Mayfield. Thank you, Matt. We're down here trackside with Ryan Mayfield. Ryan, you look absolutely exhausted. Yeah, epic race, epic race. Um, me and Dakota have had some close ones in the past, but I don't know if it's ever been that close. We were damn near the exact same speed. Um, there at the end, he was going a little quicker than me, but that was just as fast as I could go without crashing. I'm like, I just, I'm either going to get a second or hopefully he makes a mistake. And he made a mistake, and then we battled. And, uh, man, I don't even really remember what happened. I, I know for a fact on the last lap he made a mistake over here off this step down. And uh, I went, holy crap, thank you. Like, I can take it take it easy because coming, coming to the line over here is super hard. So I, I was hoping he wasn't going to get close to try to do that. But um, phenomenal car. Uh, I mean, like I said earlier in the week, um, guys after Nitro Challenge went to work, um, came up with some stuff, applied it here, and man, awesome car. Super easy to drive, had a ton of pace. Obviously, Dakota stuff was really good too. Um, yeah, happy for everybody. Uh, Techno, J Concepts, uh, ProTech, Samurai Engine was ripping. Um, Fly Sky Radio, ProTech Servos, everything's working flawlessly this week. And uh, yeah, got two done, one to go. Ryan, through the years, I've asked you this here, and you've given us different stories. You start out 100% mid-race. You can maybe downshift to about 90%. But in that 30-minute race, was it 110% the entire race? Yeah, I mean, like I said, until, like, at the end, my, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, obviously, and I know when my car is telling me, like, this is all I got, dude. Like, so I, I was probably driving 98 to 100% there at the end, but that was just as fast as I could go, you know, like, without wrecking, so... Then when I got around Dakota, I pushed it harder and almost crashed over there. 
you know, and I'm like, you can't do that. Like, just, it is what it is, you know, like, this is as fast as you can go. So, but yeah, that was intense. I mean, we were no further than two seconds apart, maybe the whole race. I had a mistake early, then he had a mistake, and then I think he just had, like, maybe one more than I did there at the end. It kind of came down to that. Both our pit crews were awesome. Adam Drake, thanks to his help in the pits, good friend of mine, um, took care of me in the pits, super fast pits. Mike Sontag's always fast, so... Yeah, like I said, man, that was about as even as I've ever been with him and he's ever been with me. And, uh, yeah, that was uh, – it just rolled the dice right for me. And, uh, yeah, got to win. Well, congratulations. Like you said, two down, one to go. Thank you, guys. All right, best of luck to you. Congratulations. Let's get Dakota Fend over here. Oh, my goodness. D, that was a hell of a race, bro. I, I don't know what to even ask you. Just take us through that 30-minute unbelievable battle. Yeah, it was a good battle. Me and, me and Ryan have definitely had him over the years, and that was another one. Um, you know, we kind of both started off, you know, a pretty safe pace, and then it kind of just slowly ramped up from there. And as the race goes on, we just uh, kept going faster and faster. Um, and uh, tires are getting edgy, shocks are getting softer out there. And the last uh, last five minutes were, were pretty gnarly. Absolutely, it was. As we're watching and we're commentating, the fans at home are watching. Watch you guys driving 100. percent How do you find more when you need to? I mean, it's definitely tough. This track will bite you with all the the edges and stuff now. Uh, we're on the softer tires for grip because it's so dusty. Um, but if you hit those that edge the wrong way, especially when uh, everything's warmed up, uh, the last uh, last few minutes the cars are definitely a lot harder to drive. Um, but you know you got to go for it. So, absolutely, well done. Who do you want to give a shout out and thanks to? Yeah, man, thanks to uh, to Mike and Chloe for the awesome pit stops. Um, you know we were we were going back and forth there, and every every tenth mattered. Um, uh, shout out for uh, the TLR for the car. Car was great. I really could uh, drive drive really hard. Um, so that was a plus. I know I was I was going pretty good on the left side, and then Ryan would kill me over here on the right side. So we were kind of going back and forth yo-yoing. Um, uh, shout out to Jake Conses for the awesome tires. Uh, Nitro Lux and Ultimate for the engines. Um, Nitro Pro for the servos and everyone else for the support. Awesome. Well, well done. Another great battle. Good luck in e -bucket. Cool. Thank you. All right. There you go. Let's get Seth Van Dalen over here. Seth. I ain't talked to you in ages now. This is a couple of times we had a chance. Man, that was an insane run. Take us through it. Yeah. Uh, had a really good start. Was able to get around. Um, Brandon had that mistake. Was able to pick a position. Uh, Spencer got a little offline going up the hill, and I was able to get around him. And pretty much from there, locked into third. I tried to challenge Dakota and Ryan and make it another truck battle, but, man, those two were so fast. I... I just backed off and ran what I could, and it was fast enough to beat Spencer and hang on to third, so I'm happy. The techno cars worked great all weekend. J Concepts tires were untouchable. Uh, ultimate racing power, I was getting tons of mileage, great power. The Senate RC control, it, the whole program worked amazing. Well, congratulations, another podium, well done. Thank you. All right, Seth Van Dalen making it happen. What a race. I mean, that was absolutely unbelievable. You can see it, these guys are spent. We're exhausted calling that, but it doesn't get any better than that. After 30 minutes in these conditions on these tracks, these guys pushing it to the limit, it's just the best you can get in Nitro RC 8-scale racing here at Psycho Nitro Blast. Back to you, Matt, in the VP Racing Studio.